Good evening from NBC News election headquarters in the heart of New York City and our coverage of a midterm election like no other. As polls close across the country at this hour, we are here with the entire NBC News team to bring you all the results and what they'll mean for you on this night for the history books. Election night 2018, America votes and decides its future. Two very different messages. Can you believe what's going on in this country? We have this incredible opportunity to make history. There is so much at stake. Who will control the House, the Senate, and dozens of state houses across the country? And who will win the advantage for 2020 and the race for the White House? Get out in 2018 because you're voting for me. The president says tonight is a referendum on him, and the Democrats agree. It's our time to fight back. Are you ready to fight back? This is the most important election you have ever voted in, no matter how old or young you are. A divided country at a crossroads. An election marked by hate, violence, and tragedy. Tonight, the moment of truth. From NBC News, The Vote, America's Future. Live from Democracy Plaza in New York, here's Lester Holt and Savannah Guthrie. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to our coverage of the 2018 midterm elections. Joining Savannah and me here, Chuck Todd and Andrea Mitchell. It promises to be a long and exciting night ahead. It's now 8 o'clock in the East. Polls have just closed in 16 states. That brings to 25 states now where the polls have closed half the country. And we already have some races that we're about to call. Yeah, we do. Breaking news right now. But first, let's take a look at what to watch for tonight. As we know, Republicans control Congress with majorities in both the House and the Senate. So for the Democrats, Winning back control really comes down to these two numbers tonight, 23 and 2. The Democrats began the night needing to pick up 23 seats to gain control of the House, two seats to flip the Senate. So let's take a look at where it stands at this hour. As you can see, Democrats have already picked up two seats. They need 21 more to go if they're going to get control. And let's show you where those wins happen for the Democrats. Northern Virginia, Barbara Comstock, the incumbent, is beat out by Jennifer Wexton. And then let's go to Florida's 27th district. Donna Shalala, do you remember that name? Former HHS secretary under President Clinton, now going to be the second oldest freshman to enter Congress in history. And we're watching a couple other big Florida races. Of course, the Florida Senate race. Bill Nelson trying to hang on there. Right now, that's too close to call. Also, the Florida governor's race, another one that has generated national attention, also too close to call. Let's see how things are doing in the Missouri Senate race. As of right now, that is too close to call Claire McCaskill in a very tough fight to keep her job. And a tough fight in Indiana, a big Midwestern battleground. Joe Donnelly, the incumbent, and you can see that it is too close to call. We'll continue to watch that one. And the governor's race, they're mirroring each they're, other? They're totally mirroring each other, and I'll just show you. I mean, it, 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 it's, there's no, you know, and for a while there was a lot of discernment here, as you can see. Now, DeSantis, welcome to Florida, right? We're always, DeSantis is up by about 30,000 votes here. Let me show you in the Senate race. Rick Scott is up about 10,000 votes. So they've pretty much been in sync off and on. Let me show you why you, it's, it's been very interesting. When Gillum was ahead, we could say, oh.